Hey everyone. In business, you sometimes hear managers saying that, quote, they'll cross that bridge when they come to it, but that proved to be a disastrous managerial decision in Baltimore this week after a container vessel collided with a major bridge across the city's bay, leading to the death of some and also effectively closing down one of the largest ports in the eastern seaboard. Curiously, Joe Biden almost immediately said that the government would pick up the tab to rebuild the bridge, thus eliminating the need for any pesky investigation by the insurance companies, almost as if there was something to hide in corruption-ridden Baltimore, which is a Democrat stronghold in an election year. The last time I was in Baltimore was about three years ago. It's actually a really decent place to visit if you're flying into the US. The aquarium especially is genuinely world class, although one piece of advice to visitors is that they really don't like you fishing in there. In other news, the clocks changed in the UK this week, which means you lose an hour in bed, but on the plus side it means that the month probably loses an inch or two of rain. It also means that the clock on tens of thousands of ovens is now correct again, at least for the next six months. Although then on the downside, that and Easter are yet more excuses for the council not to collect your rubbish this weekend. A friend of mine was recently complaining to me about just this subject, so I pointed out that his council website actually listed a specific number for a, quote, refused collections department. I actually just bought myself a new bin for the kitchen a few months back, but it didn't work. It was a rubbish bin. And finally, the rats continue to flee the sinking ship of Rishi Sunak's party and government, with a mini reshuffle following Robert Halfen deciding to quit both the cabinet and then also announce he's standing down as an MP later in the year. Ah, oh, well, a friend of mine once said, when one door shuts, another one opens. I think he's still trying to sell that Skoda. Best of luck. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.